everybody and welcome back to my channel love your life with mama d of course i'm glenda davis aka mama d and you know what you're in mama d's kitchen so today i'm going to make a quick dish of bok choy that's right bok choy and i have my ingredients here bok choy is being washed uh and i'm going to take you through the whole process and we'll make it just like that probably takes about 10 minutes all together okay all right hey if you're interested in that content stick with me because we're about to get started so this is baby bok choy and we're just going to rinse it and rinse it and rinse it um until we get all the dirt and the sand out of it let me get my colander Get into those leaves that are here. They're not as bad as the larger ones, and that's why I like the baby ones the best. Okay, so I'm going to be using oyster sauce, soy sauce, and sesame oil, two cloves of uh, garlic, and I'm just going to use um, a few slices from this ginger. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the garlic chopped up. It doesn't have to be cut up too, too fine, but let's get a nice chop on it. Can you all see that? Okay, let's get these into some olive oil. Okay, extra virgin olive oil. Get a nice little amount going there. too hot because we don't want the garlic to burn. We just want to get those cooking, get them a little soft and get the flavors going here. Oh, that smells so... Oh, yeah, I just don't know how good that smells. Go ahead. And, I went ahead and cut the stems here just so I can get a quicker cook on these. Just taking that top off right here. I guess I should say the bottom. And this is going to cook down so fast. This leaf is a little yellow. Let's pull that off of there. Okay. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Okay. 
Let's keep on going. Make sure they're all coated. Like it's not ready to come out. Okay, let's pour in the oyster sauce. Not a whole lot, but just enough to make a little sauce here. A little sesame. Sesame oil and soy sauce. Stir that up. I'm just going to use the same wok pan. Pour this in. It'll pick up some of those other little flavors. And we're just kind of thicken that up a little bit. Yeah, stick that up all good. Okay, now I have some uh, fresh packed salt, dried shaved skipjack tuna, and it comes uh, in little packages. Okay, and I'm just going to spread this on for a little flavor, just to give a little, I thought about doing uh, just some noodles, but I, I had this and I thought I'd go ahead and try them. Okay, and there you have it. Doesn't that look delicious? Father God, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, I want to get, first I want to try some without the skipjack on it. It's got so, oh, all the garlic, the smell, it just smells wonderful. Okay. Mmm. It's like a cabbage. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. And that's my dog. <laughs> mm. Now let me try some with this skipjack. Mm, it gives it a, a little saltier taste. And it kind of reminds you of Mm. Squash, summer squash, and zucchini, and cabbage. 
It's got that kind of a taste and texture. It is a wonderful vegetable dish. And uh, you can make it really quick. It don't take a whole lot. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I give the credit uh, for this recipe to A Taste of Asian Food. And uh, it was a quick, simple recipe that I found from a, another YouTuber. This is really a wonderful dish, simple and quick, and I believe that you would really like it, okay? So listen, it's your life, you love it, and make the best of it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'm telling you, listen, YouTube loves when we get the thumbs up, okay? So go ahead and help out my small channel, give me a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, share it with someone, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, okay? And we'll see you on the next video. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.